श्री ज्ञान सागर कोचिंग क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल टू गेट मोर वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चंस ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम सेट 5 ऑफ द चैप्टर कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री मैथमेटिक्स पार्ट 2 10th स्टैंडर्ड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 13 इज फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ द मीडियंस ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल व्हिच वर्टिसेस आर ए माइनस 1 बी 5 माइनस 3 एंड सी इज 3 एंड 5 for better understanding i have to draw one figure here suppose that this is the triangle abc having coordinate is a is minus 1 1 b is 5 minus 3 and c is 3 and 5 then we have to find out the length of median suppose that this is the length median this is the another and this is the another suppose that this point is d this point is e and this point is f mean that here is ad cf and df be are the medians here now we have to find out medians in that this point d e f are the midpoints here first by using the midpoint formula i have to find out the values of mean that the coordinate of point d e f and then we have to find out by the distance formula the length of the median. So simple, look carefully. Now its solution is. Solution. Now let point D have a coordinate is x1, y1, E have a coordinate x2, y2 and F have a coordinate x3, y3 be the midpoints of segment segment bc comma segment ac and segment ab respectively student therefore by using midpoint formula we use directly this formula for finding out the coordinates of point d then d we take here x1 y1 so x1 is equals to here we take the x1 plus x2 upon 2 mean that 3 plus 5 upon 2 and y1 is equals to here is 5 plus minus 3 upon 2 then this value become x1 is equals to 8 upon 2 and y1 is equals to this is 5 minus 3 upon 2 mean that 2 upon 2 therefore x1 is equals to 4 and y1 is equals to 1 therefore the coordinate of point therefore the coordinate of point d are here is 4 and 1 so i have write here dr4 and 1 here. Similarly, we can find out the point E also. Therefore, again by using midpoint here, midpoint formula, therefore by using midpoint formula, x2 is equals to, for this we take here x2 and y2, so x2 is equals to 3 minus 1, with that 3 plus minus 1 upon 2 and y2 is equals to here is 5 plus 1 upon 2 then I have to direct write here x2 is equals to 3 minus 1 upon 2 mean that 2 upon 2 and y2 is equals to 6 upon 2 mean that x2 is equals to 1 and y2 is equals to 3 therefore the coordinates of point E R 1 and 3 here I have to write here E 1 and 3 then again by using midpoint formula x3 is equal to for F x3 is equal to minus 1 plus 5 upon 2 and y3 is equal 
equals to 1 plus minus 3 upon 2. Then it becomes here 4 upon 2 and y3 is equals to 1 minus 3 upon 2 means that minus 2 upon 2. Then it becomes x3 is equals to 2 and y3 is equals to minus 1. Therefore the coordinates of point f are 2 and minus 1. Then student, we have to find out the length of the median. Therefore, by using distance from length of median AD is equal to, I have to directly use this formula. The formula is x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. Here is A, D. Here is X1, Y1, this is X2, Y2. So, formula is X2 minus X1. So, I have to write here 4 minus minus 1 bracket square. Plus, Y2 is 1 minus 1 bracket square. Therefore, AD is equals to, here is, this is 4 plus 1 bracket square plus 0 square. Then I will write here 4 plus 1 means that 5 square plus 0 means that AD is equals to root of 25. Therefore AD is equals to how much? 5 units. Similarly, we can find out the value of BE and CF also. So again by using distance formula. distance formula BE is equal to in root of again the formula x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. Suppose here this one is the x1 y1 this is x2 y2 then I have to write here x2 minus x1 means that 1 minus 5 bracket square plus y2 is here is 3 minus minus 3 bracket square. Then this value becomes minus 4 square plus this is 3 plus 3 bracket square is equals to minus 4 square is 16 plus this is 6, 6 square is 36. Then this value becomes BE is equals to here is root of 6 plus 6 is 12 carry 1 4 plus 1 is 5. Means again we have to factorize it root of 13 into then this one is 2 root of 13 unit. Then we have to find out the value of CF. Therefore, again by using distance formula, the length of median CF is equal to, we use this formula again here. Then this is x1, y1, then f having coordinate, we have to find out here, f having coordinate is and minus 1. Then by using this x1 minus this is x2 y2. Then 2 minus 3 bracket square plus y2 is minus 1 minus 5 bracket square. Then this value becomes minus 1 square plus minus 6 square is equals to minus 1 square is 1 plus 36 is equals to root of 37. We cannot find out the factors of 37. So, the answer in full sentence, we have to find out the length of medians of the triangle. Therefore, I will write here the length of medians of triangle A, B, C, R. Here is AD is equal to 5 units. Then BE is equal to 2 root 30 units and CF is equal to root of 37 units. Can you understand this? Okay, we take the next question. Question, question number 14. Find the coordinates of the centroid of the triangles if point D minus 7, 6, E, 8, 5, F, 2 and minus 2 are the midpoints of the sides of the triangle. Student, for this I have to draw one triangle for better understanding here.
Suppose that this is the vertex of A, B, and C of triangle ABC. This is point D, E, and F are the midpoints here. Suppose this is the coordinate here. Let the coordinate of this point A is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. And this is x3, y3. The coordinate of point D is minus 7, 6. E is 8 and 5. And F is 2 and minus 2. Here is median here Because this is the midpoint here. Okay, so then, then suppose this is G is the centroid of the triangle ABC. We have to find out the coordinate of that centroid. Suppose that this is X and Y, we have to find out this coordinate here. Now student, for this, I have to first write all of this in the word. Its solution is, solution, let in triangle A, B, C, A having coordinate is X1, Y1, B having coordinate is x2, y2, c having coordinate is x3, y3, point d minus 7, 6, e 8 and 5 and f 2 and minus 2 are the midpoints of sides of triangle A, B, C respective. Student, then by using midpoint formula. First I will take here point D is the midpoint. segment AC. At that time, by using this formula, the coordinate x is equals to formula is x1 plus x2 upon 2 and y is equals to y1 plus y2 upon 2. By using this, suppose we take here AC here, so that I have to write here, this is x coordinate is minus 7 here is equals to x1 is x1 x2 is here x3 upon these two and y having quantity 6 sorry is equals to y1 is y1 and y2 is y3 upon 2 student then by cross multiplication I have to directly write the equation x1 plus x3 is equals to minus 14. Look here, 2, 7, 14. Suppose that this is equation number first here. And here is 12. I would write here y1 plus y3 is equals to 12. This is equation number second. Similarly, student, we can write Look carefully, directly we take these equations. If you take E as the midpoint, then x1 plus x2, x1 plus x2 is equals to x is 8, 8 to the 16, equation number 3, and for y1 plus y2 is equals to 5 into 2 is 10. This is equation number 4. And for this segment BC, F is the midpoint. At that time, x2 plus x3 is equal to 2 into 2 is 4 by using this formula. Suppose equation number 5. And then y2 plus y3 is equal to 2 minus 2 into 2 is minus 4. This is equation number 6 here. Now student, then adding equation 1, 3 and 5. 1, 3 and 5. We get. I have to directly take addition of it. Means here x1, x1 
one is two times, so twice x one plus. Look carefully, x two and x three is also two times, twice x two plus x three x three is also two times, x three is equals to minus fourteen plus sixteen plus four. This one is two in bracket x one plus x two plus x three is equals to. This subtraction is two. Plus four becomes six. Two goes to divide. Therefore, x one plus x two plus x three is equal to three. Suppose that this is equation number seven. Here is divided by two. Similarly, we have to adding this equation to four and six. Now, adding equations two. Four and six, we get directly adding here. Y one plus y one is twice y one plus again twice y two plus twice y three. Y three y three is equals to twelve plus ten minus four. Therefore, to take again common, y one plus y two plus y three is equals to here is. Look carefully. When we subtract this four, then it becomes six. Twelve plus six becomes eighteen. Divide by two. Therefore, y one plus y two plus y three is equals to nine. Equation number A. Here is divided by two. Student, by six, seven, and eight, we have to find out the coordinate of this central G. Let G having coordinate x and y be the centroid of triangle ABC. Therefore, by using centroid formula, student, very very important example, but go very simple there. X is equal to the formula is x1 plus x2 plus x3. Upon three and y is equal to y one plus y two plus y three upon this. From this six, sorry seven, we substitute the value is three here. Therefore, x is equal to three upon three and y is equal to y one plus y three is nine. Y three is nine upon three. Reason is that from seven and eight. Then simplify it. X is equal to one and y is equal to three. This is the coordinate of G. Therefore, G having coordinate is x comma y is equal to one and three. We have to find out here is the coordinates of the centroid so that the answer in full sentence answer the coordinates of the centroid. G is one and okay. We take the next question and it is five minus three. Are the vertices of square? Look carefully. It is so simple question, student. Now first we have to show that square. We know the property of square. All sides are equal and diagonals are also equal here. So we have to first find out all sides. Then diagonals also equal. Then this is a square. Okay, for this. We use the distance formula here. Its solution is here is a having coordinate is four minus one, b having coordinate is six zero, c having coordinate is seven minus two, and d having coordinate is five minus three. Therefore, by using distance formula. All of you know that this formula I will write for any one segment. Suppose that AB is equal to in root of. The formula is x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. Student, therefore AB is equal to I have to use directly here x1 y1 x2 y2 then 6 minus 4 bracket square plus 0 minus minus 1 bracket square. Okay, then this becomes six minus four is two square plus zero minus minus plus in that one square. This is four plus one. Therefore, AB is equal to root of five. This is equation number first. Then we have to find out BC. Again, by 
rising distance formula used directly here for the value of pc x1 y1 x2 y2 then y2 x2 is 7 minus 6 bracket square plus minus 2 minus 0 bracket square is equals to 7 minus 6 1 square plus minus 2 square is equals to have right here 1 square is 1 plus 4 therefore bc is also equals to root of 5 this is equation second then find out cd again by using distance formula we use directly here x1 y1 x2 y2 then 5 minus 7 bracket square plus minus 3 minus minus 2 bracket square student the subtraction of this one is minus 2 square plus minus 3 plus 2 square then this value becomes 4 plus minus 1 square mean that 4 plus 1 therefore cd is equals to root of 5 this is equation number 3. Then student find out the length of AD by using distance formula. Therefore AD is equal to here is x1 y1 x2 y2 then 5 minus 4 bracket square plus minus 3 minus minus 1 bracket square. Then this value become this is 1 square plus minus 3 minus minus plus 1 bracket square. Then this is 1 square is 1 plus minus 2 square mean that there is 1 plus 4 therefore AD is equals to also root of 5 mean that equation number 4. After equation 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th each having length is root of 5 unit therefore I will write from equations 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th our observation is that Therefore, AD is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to AD. All sides are equal. Therefore, this quadrilateral ABCD is rhombus. Now, student, in a rhombus, if the diagonals are congruent, then it is a rectangle. So, I have to find out the length of diagonal. The length of diagonal here is ABCD. AC is the first diagonal. So, AC by using again distance formula. Then AC is equal to here. We use again this formula for the AC x1 y1 x2 y2 then 7 minus 4 bracket square plus y2 is minus 2 plus sorry minus minus 1 bracket square. Then this value become here is 7 minus 4 become 3 square plus minus 2 plus 1 square then this value is 9 plus minus 1 square means here 9 plus 1 means that AC is equal to root of 10 suppose equation number 5 then we have to find out BD therefore BD is equal to again in this distance formula x1 y1 x2 y1 then 5 minus 6 bracket square plus here is minus 3 minus 0 bracket square student this one is minus 1 square plus minus 3 square this is minus 1 square is plus 1 minus 3 square is plus 9 mean that bd is equal to root of 10 this is equation number 6 from equation 5 and 6 AC is equal to BD. Therefore, in rhombus ABCD, the diagonal, the diagonals AC is equal to BD. Therefore, quadrilateral ABCD is rectangle. Sorry, it is square. Therefore, quadrilateral ABCD is square because all sides are equal and diagonals also equal. Then it is a square. Can you understand this? Then you have to write the answer in full sentence. You have to write A4 minus 1, B6 
six zero c seven minus two and d five minus three are the vertices of sphere. Can understand? 